The real reason Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want to mend fences is as a new threat looms. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are keen to patch things up with the royal family, and are making renewed efforts to mend their relationship with King Charles. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are understood to be determined to patch things up with King Charles and the rest of the royal family, and the reason may have something to do with the 2024 US election. The Duke of Sussex's attempts to communicate with his father, who is still undergoing treatment for an unknown type of cancer, and public comments to the press about his love for his family, strongly suggest this. It seems clear that they urgently need to start mending the rift, Richard Eden, a former employee, told the Daily Mail. In an op-ed for the newspaper, he appears to suggest that his motivation may be due to ongoing threats from Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his family. It comes after Trump's son Eric described the Duke and Duchess as bad apples and repeated his father's claims that Harry could be deported if Republicans win in November. You can happily have those too, Eric said. We may not want them anymore, it's like they're on their own island. You can always have bad actors in everything. You can have bad apples in every orchard, he added. The institution of the royal family is beautiful and admired by many Americans. That must be protected. Earlier this year, the former U.S. president hinted that Prince Harry might leave if he returned to the White House. Donald Trump has said Harry could be deported from the U.S. if he lies about drug use on his U.S. visa application, as a lawsuit over the matter continues. The Republican candidate said that the Duke would not receive any special treatment because of his royal background. Harry's visa came under intense scrutiny after the conservative American Heritage Foundation filed a lawsuit last year against the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, to access his immigration records. They want to know if Harry has declared whether he has used recreational drugs on the form, following his admissions in his memoir, Spare, where he detailed heavy use of cocaine, marijuana and magic mushrooms. The US government has so far refused to release his records. Harry sought to reconcile with his father this year, after announcing his cancer diagnosis. A few hours after Buckingham Palace announced the news, Harry rushed to the United Kingdom to see his father. The couple met for a short chat which was said to be a positive step towards mending their relationship. Shortly afterwards, the Duke of Sussex said in a television interview, in all these families I see it on a daily basis, the strength of the family unit coming together. I think any disease, any illness brings families together. He also publicly declared that he loves his family. This comes after People magazine reported that the king refuses to receive calls from his youngest son. One of Harry's friends told the publication, he is now unavailable. He added, his calls were not answered. He tried to communicate about the king's health, but those calls were not answered either.